so today we go back to a time of an internet much more lawless than what we have now. We are going back to tell a tale of what some dude on the internet claims to be the largest flame war in known internet history. Before the 4chan versus Tumblr invasions of Independence Day 2014, and before the Habo Hotel blockade by B in the summer of 2006, we had a war between Harvard students and some people who said meow. Before we get into the story, I was not around during this time. Well, I was, but I was learning uh, like addition or some shit. So this is the best I can piece together. That also being said, the history of this is compiled by trolls. So perhaps take this as a story of internet lore and it might not be absolute fact because I was not there. Now everyone, transport yourself back to the year 1996. A leap year starting on a Monday, and also a year where North America received a major blizzard, and school was closed for like, I don't know, two weeks? Whoa, look, there is so much more snow. But that's not the focus. The focus is on a particular flame war. So, what are flame wars? The term flame wars comes from the term flaming, which essentially is, and no, it's not being really gay. Ultraman, Ultraman, hard gay <laughs> is, according to Wikipedia, an online act of posting insults often laced with profanity or other offensive language on social networking sites. And we are talking about flame wars again here, and on the same Wikipedia article, because we are a real fucking professional here, defines flame wars as flaming where two or more individuals unite to exchange or unite against a third party with verbal attacks. We are focusing on a specific and prolific flame war. So this, the epic flame war. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm using 90s humor here. Sorry. But then let's tired. Well, have a nap. Then fire the missile! Happened on something called Usenet. What is Usenet? Well, Usenet is a software that allows servers to communicate with each other. The idea of Usenet happened with two men. Tom Truscott, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and Jim Ellis in 1979. And then was created in 1980. It started out as a way to share files among academia, but that didn't really last long. On Usenet, users read and post messages called articles or posts and collectively termed news to one or more categories known as news groups. Discussions are threaded like with web forums and bulletin boards. News groups are at the most basic form, kind of comparable to subreddit, at least that's how I kind of viewed it myself. That's the best way I could have grasped it. And yes, I use Reddit. Many newsgroup classes were moderated, such as Talk and Rec, but ones that weren't were tagged Alt, where anyone can create a topic. Users could create new newsgroups at will, which ended up with stuff like alt.butt.harp. I will link a video below that goes into detail about Usenet, but the events of the story happen at all, obviously. So the alleged largest flame war was known as the Meow Wars. It started in January 1996 when an abandoned board called alt.fan.carl.molden.nose, also known as the Nose, a board that paid homage to the actor Carl Malden's nose, had been colonized by a small group of students of Harvard University. This message board was used by these students to post their like schedule and classes and stuff, I guess. Eventually they got bored of that, and I'm quoting the page, The One True History of Meow, which will be linked below. They tired of posting articles about their immensely boring daily lives and decided to venture out. They started by playing their stakes cross-posting to other empty news groups, but got bored of this. As a result of, I guess, their Ivy League mindset and the belief that they are very smart and others need to be smirt just like them, one of the users suggested they invade a real popular news group to quote unquote, rile up the stupid people. <laughs> the Harvard student, Matt Bruce, posted to alt.tv.beavis in Butthead and joked that they should invade them. He says, quote, I suggest that we start either posting or cross posting to alt.tv dot beavis and butthead. I also suggest that we use big words and perfect grammar and refuse to write as the young ruffians in question speak. This could lead to some interesting dialogue. This article was, of course, posted directly to the Beavis and Butthead group. The regulars of this group were like, what the fuck? And even though the student probably meant it as a joke, not a funny joke, the fans of Beavis and Butthead struck back.
They ended up driving the Harvard students from their group. One of the outsiders discovered that one of the Harvard posters placed Meow Meow, a reference to Henrietta Pussycat of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood fame, in many of his posts as a sort of calling card. Meow Meow here first. And also his initial spelled out cat. The posters in this targeted group now claimed Meow Meow for themselves to retaliate against these Harvard students. Let the Meow Wars commence. So these guys entered the nose, seeing it was filled with Harvard students. And so the counter invaders spewed meows with vigor. Over time, these meows spread more and more through the groups besides just the nose. The flames were spread. People impersonated Matt Bruce, which from what I've seen, faking credentials was pretty easy at this time, meaning like a 24 year old burger flipper who claimed to be a professor. And when he found out about the war zone, he and the other Harper students were like, LOL, JK guys, the joke. Nobody bought it. He also posted threatening to cancel all articles containing the word meow. This cancellation notice by him, which was posted about a month and a half after the first meow, was what really opened up the floodgates to this war. Annihilate them! These posters, who what we now would call trolls, had to teach these Ivy League little shits a lesson. It was the Usenet equivalent to World War II. It was Quote, the flame war to end all flame wars. Suddenly, AFKMN and alt.college.collegebull, places Matt frequented and other groups were flooded with meow articles. The number was out of control. News groups attempted to stop this by placing meow in their kill file. And a kill file is a per user file used by some user net reading programs to discard articles matching some unwanted patterns of subjects, authors, or other heading lines. But that didn't work. These flamers would use Mew to meow just to fuck with them. Yep. These attackers would call themselves the Meow Meow Army and were bent on taking over AFKMN, which from searching through archived files was the official news group of Bung Munch University. And I almost wrote that down thinking it was serious, like Bung Munch was a real serious university. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can't find what it was before the Meow Wars. This was really the only thing I could find about AFKM and it was in an archive titled the official AFKM FAQ, ignore the other one. So needless to say, they were successful. A new form of Usenet spam attack was formed as a result of the Meow Wars. This was called the Cascade Attack. And I'm quoting the Encyclopedia Dramatica article here. It usually involves taking over an existing thread with two or more people replying back and forth to each other continually for dozens and sometimes even hundreds of posts. Sometimes these attacks are very simple, such as stating meow back and forth. Other forms seem to be more creative, sometimes involving rhyming patterns, limericks, story constructs, and other forms. The Harvard students continued to be silenced by the overwhelming amount of meows for weeks. Every post they made just resulted in cascading meowers in retaliation. They tried to hide in the Harvard server, but they weren't safe there. Alt.college College Bull, a frequent place for Matt Bruce, was continuously attacked until it was, quote, reduced to a smoldering crater, so inundated with meows that its regulars could no longer use it after being attacked for nearly a year. Funny enough, this was a major section of an article on the Quiz Bowl Wikipedia titled A Brief History of Quiz Bowl Communication on the Internet. So after this invasion, AFKMN ended up merging with what the writer of the history page I referenced earlier named Mighty Alt dot Flame TM and remained as a sort of posting relay hub until at least 1998, where it seems, by my estimations, the article ends its narrative. According to this article, which will be again linked below, during the cesspool of meows, the first and second gen meowers regulated alt.flame and also had other bases, including alt.alien.vampire.flunkflunk, alt.non.sequitur, and alt.stupidity. All of these fused together as what they called the Meow Empire. The activities of this empire continued over the years, 
but the majority of the war lasted 45 weeks, involving hundreds of people from over 80 news groups. It is considered to be the largest flame war in Usenet history. Though, who the fuck knows how to judge that? To be honest, the ability to chronologically document this whole thing is not really possible now because of the lack of certain archives. But it is an interesting part of internet history. And going through the Google archives of Usenet, I saw a meow post on alt.flame past the year 2000 which is over three years after the initial main battle. There is an article on these flame wars from Vice. They interviewed the catalyst in this, aka Matt Bruce, who recollected the flame war saying, some people to this day, I do not know who, took offense at something I did post and decided to get revenge by using my name when they spammed other Usenet groups. Online life became suddenly volatile. Bruce seems to still be irritated and baffled about his part in the Meow War. The important thing in all of this, and this is my opinion, is that this was a view at early internet interaction and how it set up culture on the internet, and how it is today. The Wikipedia page, and there is a Wikipedia page on this, calls the Meow Wars a landmark in internet history, and that it's possible to be the birth of trolling as we know it. The use of ASCII art, or ASCII art, I don't know how to say it, that's what it looks like, became also commonplace during this time. The term spam, which was used before the Meow Wars, from back and forth posting of the word spam, which was originally from Monty Python, but Due to the Meow Wars, it came to mean excessive repetitive posts. And what I can say with this event, what we can learn is that don't try to pretend you're smart. Don't try to enact your superiority complex on the internet. That's not a hard thing to understand. But honestly, my ultimate takeaway is that being an asshole on the internet is part of the culture and it thrives in, oh gosh, I'm gonna say this word wrong, anonymity. And I personally find that funny. But uh, ultimately, we can get that people have always been assholes on the internet and nobody likes snobby pricks. Just remember, over 20 years ago, people trolled a bunch of college kids by just spamming them with meow. And that's fucking funny. Kitty face. Kitty face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,